in this practice, we're going to be using lines just like we did for our last one, except this time we're going to add some lines going the opposite direction. For my first value, I start with very few lines with big spaces in between. Then I increase my number of lines and start to decrease the space. I'm using my hatching lines above as a guide. Again, we want all of these lines to look very intentional and purposeful. Now you'll notice with this, your values start to darken faster since you're using lines going two different directions. So again, this is called cross hatching. When you have lines that are crisscrossing to create your values. Take your time, make sure you're remaining in control of your marks. You don't want them to look rough. As you get to your darker values, it's okay if your lines start to overlap a little bit. For the very last one, you want them to be very, very close together. 